All right, on to chapter 13. I'm kind of hoping 13 is the last one. <laughs> Is there any ammo or anything like that around here? Okay, nice. Right. Okay, that's nothing. It's nothing as well. It looks like a box you can break. Excellent. This game is from ten years ago. Down there. If you're down there, hang on. We're coming. All right. Sounds good. So Sebastian here, our main character, Mr. Castellanos, he has a drinking problem. He takes some water and... <laughs> oh, Airplane 2. If you haven't seen it, it's great. Or Airplane 1. Alright, so this is our Firelink Shrine, basically. <laughs> Is where you can level up and that stuff. Was a bad... oh. It's basically your fire link shrine. And this is our cell. It's been a while since your last visit. Not gonna sit down and play with your nails. All right, sounds good. So the story with Sebastian is that he's a bit of a drunk, or he was. Okay. Okay, we don't have any keys, so we can't pick up any stuff. Sounds good. Can we level up? There's no real leveling up, it's mostly just uh, can we upgrade our character at all? Yeah, I don't think so. At least not in a way that's useful to us. Alright, so let's save. Check these newspapers. Sometimes there's something topical here. Century old mansion burned to the ground. Arson suspects. The Valentinos or whatever they're called are the are the uh, parents of Mr. Rubik, the telepathic guy who threw the bus. All right. Well. We barely have any ammunition. Make our way forward, I guess. Is that acid? Alright, so I assume that if we walked under there, we'd just die instantly.
Yeah, for the first half of the game, what makes it great is that it doesn't have a lot of one-shots. And the this half of the game, well, really a half, but in this later portion of the game, there are a lot of enemies that just one-shot you. this much damage is that a subway sticking out of the ground yeah but look how it's positioned if we can get over there we might be able to use it to get across let's just concentrate on getting out of here sounds good bros game let's go Can't go over here, so that means. Alright. Sounds good. Let's keep going. Sounds good. Damn it. First Kidman, now. Yeah, he's back. It's one of the bosses. I have a feeling that if we aggro him, we won't have enough ammunition to actually kill him. But, if I remember correctly, we can disable his traps and get goodies. Yes. We can get components that we can then use to make... Get components that we can then use to make agony bolts for agony crossbow. Okay, so he's over there. Our character most definitely is not Corvo. He cannot quickly kill enemies. Would be nice if he was, though. And thank you for the follow, George. Okay, so what is this guy's patrol route then? I'm good. Wait for on the path back and forth. I do like how uh, on Twitch most of my. Uh, I don't know if it's most of them, but a decent number of people will uh, show up and they will. 
essentially just be a spammer or a bot that's like, I'm going to follow this channel and then comment on the channel. Go to this website. You can do things that are against TOS. <laughs> and get perma banned. It's fantastic. <laughs> right, come on, dude, turn around. Okay. Very nice. All right, now there's a Rubik guy over here. Just finished up setting up a bunch of acid. You fucking kidding me? So he has those. I think those just one shot you if they hit you. Not get what I would give for an actual composite. I would apps like I, what I would give for an actual composite aiming system. Just holy shit. Ah, oh, nice. We are probably dead. Oh yeah, we don't want to jump over this. Yeah, like this game wants you to fight this stuff, but it doesn't give you really the ammo to do it. And then the gunplay isn't really good enough to actually do that to begin with. Oh, nice. But yeah, it just is what it is. Dude, you are telling me that I can go somewhere and get free followers and viewers. So what you are doing is basically telling me that I can go and basically view bot. That's against TOS. I'm going to report you after this. You're going to get banned. It'll, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. One Rubik clone going in there. He's not gonna go in there, is he? Okay, there he goes. So he just sees you regardless as soon as you get too close. I think that's how it goes.
So we got that brought on. Nice. Now, I didn't want you to go in there, dude. The question is, is he going to turn and look down this island? Down this hole? No. Cool. Okay, well. Okay. Hello, Lord Gamist. How are you? Hope you are enjoying the stream and welcome back. Okay, we have another Rubik clone. We evidently can't sneak up on them. We have another bottle. Uh, I mean. To be honest, this game's ending is so goddamn terrible that I'm considering not, but I probably will. <laughs> I don't know if that means anything, <laughs> but holy shit, this game's ending is bad. <laughs> it does not play to any of its strengths at all. Yeah, it's like this game for the for the back half of it. Actually, not even the back half. I want to say like the back five percent. As soon as it got to like the water section, it's like, hey, guess what? We're just gonna have one shot kills everywhere. It's just like the fuck happened. Did they just run out of ideas. <laughs> it's like the game up to this point. Something completely different. <laughs> They're sort of having they're sort of having a return to form here, but I mean, I already have the evil within two, so I'll probably play it just for that reason, at the very least. Is, is there no reason to come out here? Okay. Ah. Uh. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I do like parts of this game. And because I like parts of this game, I will happily shit all over it. Like, if I like a game, I will shit on the parts that I don't like. If I don't like a game, I'll just be like, yeah, whatever, it was okay, I guess. And then, like, completely ignore it and never play it again. <laughs> Like, anger at the bad parts is a good thing. Apathy at the bad parts means your game sucks, basically. I remember years ago, like half a decade ago or something, I watched Seraphim and others play this game a little bit, I think. I think they enjoyed this one a lot more than the other one. In the river bone. I don't know if you can get back up, but I don't want to deal with them. I will say, I really hope the second game has a better movement system than this one. Because I really don't like this game's movement system. So how can I describe what I don't like about it? So if I want Gal if I want Sebastian to turn around, he might do weird stuff. So if I like have him turn around or something. Like he'll do this thing where he moves to the side first. That's just like, yeah, I kinda don't want him to do that. I kind of want him to just actually back up, or actually just turn around. It's like when I played Dead Space 2, I spent most of it. <laughs> I think like this. But Dead Space 2 doesn't really have that issue as much, like way back in the day. So I'm kind of hoping that they refine the combat system in the second version of this. And I also kind of hope that they have decided what they actually want the game to be. Because with this one it seems a little bit like they just don't know. wonderful down there. Okay. What's he doing?
Now we can just set him on fire a bunch. But fighting him is kind of a losing proposition. Because he just respawns when he dies. So if he doesn't know that we're here, that's good news. Yeah, I mean, from what I remember of uh, the sequel, it seems pretty good. Is that ammo? It is. Yeah, I remember, from what I remember of the sequel, it's pretty good. I just, yeah, I'm just curious as to if it has the same problems that the evil then has. Because I would very much prefer that it didn't. So we are not going that way. Sounds good. Kidman, are you in there? Take that as a she has problems or no. Trevi McTrapster is still doing his no, thing. No, not that way. No. Haven't you figured it out yet? Oh, he loves tormenting others. Has to let them know he has the upper hand. Lays out the bait, gets his victim all worked up. His unholy traps. When it was happening to me, I could see what was going on. I could see it, but I couldn't turn back. I had to know. I had to know the truth, and he knew it. Detective Castellanos. Lady, level with me. Am I going crazy? If one wishes to survive, one would do well to consider who they trust. All right, then. Okay, so forcefully kicked us back here. Let's see. Joseph. Disappeared while returning home. Searching for someone. Yeah. We are all just kidnapped and then put in this machine. That's coming along nicely. Alright, sounds good. Uh, we have kind of all the upgrades we really need, I think. Sixteen thousand. Yeah, sixteen thousand. Might as well do something with it. Our stock of bullets isn't really the problem that we run into. Ah, 
sounds good. I was kind of hoping that like the number of bullets would be reflected in the revolver. And it's uh these what is it called? Revolving magazine? No idea. Where do we got? Yeah, that's we wanna go back. What's that hint of uh don't trust your allies? Or trust them very carefully. Anything over here? Uh, let's see. Maybe. Nope. Okay. So that is forward progress. Ninety percent sure. Yeah, we already cleared everything else, so the only way to go is down. Okay, mines. Those, those bombs look like they're attached to somebody. Okay, and you're being funneled, so this is probably going to lead to a boss fight. Awesome. All right. Gotta love getting stuck on shit. Okay, so now I know what, actually what they're trying to do here. Makes me wonder, what are you supposed to do if you're out of ammo? take less time just to reload. Yeah, the back half of this game I found more annoying than anything, which is not necessarily a good sign. Okay, so... He dropped the little... A little bit of ammo. That is sufficiently damaged. Alright. Oh, nice. Mac fragment. Sounds good. What progress we go? So we got a little bit out of that. 
Not too bad. What do we got? Okay, so it's giving us a little bit of a boss fountain. Where it's restocking all our supplies. So I think that means we're going to be fighting safe guy again. Sure, we're going to be fighting safe Joseph? guy again. Sounds good. Because we're probably going to be fighting safe guy, let's go ahead and get ready to kill him. He, like most bosses, are only really affected by explosive and shock. Flash is nice, but it doesn't really do anything to most of them. But we can set him on fire, so we'll try that. Maybe fire damage does a bunch of damage to him. Alright, sounds good. Okay, shock bolt, so I think I'm right about that. Chainsaw Roombas? Can we shoot them? I don't think so. I'd love to be able to just shoot them. I don't think that's actually an option. Maybe you can shock them? He's giving me a bunch of shock traps. Yes. yes, you can shock them. That's about it. Guess it's not getting enough light? That's weird.
Okay, whenever you say. Whenever the carrier just. Wait, I am very confused as to what triggered. Okay, whatever. Whatever game, I don't really care at this point, I just want this to be over so I don't have to play this anymore. <laughs> that, that is what this game has become. <laughs> it's become brute forcing it so I can get to the end of the game so I don't have to play it again. <laughs> That is the end of this game. <laughs> Unfortunately. Alright, so does that permanently kill them or no? So just assume that triggers automatically when you get close. Yeah, that's that's kind of just annoying. Kind of that thing when when a game has really worn out its welcome. Maybe that's what's happening here. Okay, so I need to deactivate this. Okay, so it's probably one of the ball money now. Seems to be the critical path. Critical path was the other direction. You again? Okay, cool. In that case, we can't get him with his own traps again. Uh, Alright, bug it. Ah, sounds good. Yeah, we'll just flat out kill him instead. Instead of wasting our time with the mechanics the game wants us, with the mechanics the game teaches us to use, but then doesn't work. Sounds good. That one's dead, that's good. Probably has a bunch more. Falls off. At this point I just want it over. <laughs> I just don't care anymore. The game has has expended all the fucks I get, basically.
Okay, so it should be dead. Be dead again, he'll probably get back up. Or not. Okay, sounds good. I just saw a bunch of magnum ammo back there. No? Alright, sounds good. But yeah, I think this game is worn out as welcome. By a lot at this point. I'm looking forward to not playing it. <laughs> I'd better find Kidman. <laughs> this is not what you want. <laughs> She's all right. What's she after? Oh, so I think Leslie is also the guy that we're seeing, like the ghost guy that we're seeing in the asylum. I think that's who he was beforehand. Pretty sure Leslie is the guy in the asylum, yeah. understand. You don't know what he'll become. I do. I've seen it. You don't understand what Rubik is after. So tell me, what is he after? He's after Leslie. What, he needs to finish his science project? Don't patronize me. I have orders. I can't let him have this boy. Leslie is the only one he can...
chapter 13 is clear. Go on to the next one.